Well, hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are going to be talking about B-roll. Cue the music. Well, hey everybody and welcome back. I am glad you're joining. This is It's Only Food. I am Chef John Polite and I am glad to have you watching. If this is your first time watching this channel, or you just want to learn how to make awesome food, or perhaps start your own YouTube cooking channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and then be sure to click that notification bell to be notified each and every time that I upload new content. All right, well, you clicked on this video to talk about B-roll and learn what it is. So let's get started on that. The first thing we want to know is what is B-roll? Well, according to Wikipedia, B-roll is supplemental footage that is inserted into the timeline to help tell the story. So what we're going to be doing here with a cooking channel is we're going to be learning how to take supplemental footage of what we do and insert it into our cooking timeline of what we're making in order to make it a more fascinating story and help move along what we're trying to do. I know from my own experience, I did I do use B-roll every now and then. I don't make it a big thing when I do do my videos, but I am trying to learn and wrap my head around it more. I started using two cameras. That got to be too confusing for me in editing. I like to make my editing as seamless and quick as possible, but I am learning and the best way for me to learn is to instruct and teach because then I have to actually do the research and the the uh, heavy lifting to get to know what I'm doing. So I'm learning as well as you, so let's get started. You can use uh, video or you can use pictures or you can use a combination of both. And what you're basically doing in your timeline is you're adding those pictures and videos on top of the A-roll that you've shot and you're just using it to, if you're saying that I'm slicing an onion or I'm going to slice an onion, or here we are slicing an onion, you can get an angled shot of you cutting onions put that over the top of you saying that to where you're not actually having to do it but to, when you're following along on the recipe. You can do it a totally different day if you'd want and just add that into your video. Now what I've done is I've got a, a folder that I've got all my b-roll stuff that I've shot in that folder and then I bring that folder up every time that I go into editing so it's right there and I can kind of pick and choose what I want to use. What I did one day is I went into the kitchen, I cleaned it really, really well. My wife cleaned the stove and the front where the, the knobs and the dials are. So when I go to make a shot of me turning the oven on, I did one for 350, then I did one for 425 and 450 because those are the three most common settings on an oven that you use when you bake and do things like that. I uh, got a shot of me clicking on the, the, the burner, a shot of that going on and off. I got different shots of the kitchen as a panning shot of the whole kitchen. I got a couple shots of just parts of the kitchen where I'm cooking and prepping. So there's different shots of the all the areas kind of where I work and then a little bit of the background stuff that I kind of set it up fancy in there. And then I can use those shots, superimpose them wherever I want in the timeline if I want to. Like I said, I'm learning how to do B-roll as well. With your food, you can do it when you're, whatever kind of prepping you're doing, uh, ingredients that you have, show off your ingredients in a different way. You can do all the methodologies of cooking from the dry heat methods, the wet heat methods, and the combination of both heating methods of cooking the food. You can use techniques such as cutting and mincing and chopping. You can do um, cooking styles of sauteing, frying, baking, roasting, braising, all the different things you can do. You can do different cuts and different angles of each of those too. And then you can kind of make that into your B-roll. Like I said, I'm learning how to do this too. Uh, some of your equipment, I know I went and put a camera in the microwave, I put a camera in a cupboard, and I put a camera in the refrigerator. If you got an oven door that's clear, you can actually set up a camera when you put cookies in and you can film that whole thing and the whole process of the cookie is cooking. And you'll see it go from dough to an actual cookie. That's kind of cool. And then you can speed that up in editing and use that for B-roll while you're talking about baking cookies. Uh, some of the some of the benefits I know, because I make a lot of mistakes and fumble words, and my camera goes in and out and things like that, are to actually use the B-roll to cover up those mistakes. You've got you fumbled up a line and you cut that out in your timeline, and you put your timeline back together again where you've got that 
edited out mistake. Then you can put over the top of that, you can put a nice B-roll shot that'll cover that up and nobody will be any wiser that you made a mistake. Make sure also that if you're doing B-roll and having it in a folder like I've got, that it's relative to what you're making and it's also aids in the continuity. Don't make a an omelet with cheese and ham and then show that you're cutting an onion in there if the onion isn't in the ingredients or the list of what the directions of what you're doing because uh, then you know people get kind of confused about that. Well that's all I've got. I can't think of anything else that I've gotten in the way of b-roll or anything I can share with you. That's just some of the tips and tricks that I use to do b-roll. Like I said I don't use a lot of it but I do know what it is and I know how to explain it, but I just don't know how to use it. Let me know what you do. Like I said, this is an instructional video for the both of us. I'm learning as well as you. So if you're using B-roll, or you don't use B-roll, or if you've got some ideas for B-roll, please leave comments below in the comments section below, because it helps everybody that is involved with this video, from those that watch it to that guy that makes it, which is me. So I appreciate that too. I'm going to leave a card right here for the playlist that I have on how to start your own cooking channel on YouTube. I've got about 14 videos on there now with how to start it and how to optimize your, your social media and how to edit and how to do other things. Make sure you read the comments sections after you watch those videos because there's a lot of information in those comments sections from people that are huge channels that have been nice enough to leave comments and advice in there along the way as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you use B-roll or if you have ideas for B-roll. Go ahead and give this channel a big like. Do me a big favor and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And then share this video and this channel with everyone you know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Bully. Bye-bye.